thank you and John Carpenter and Deborah Hill because if, if it wasn't for you and uh, many others making these films, there would be no Midnight Madness yeah, program. Yeah, far out. Exactly. So, I usually welcome people to Midnight Madness, but you are Midnight Madness. <laughs> I like that. Thank you. Hi. Hey, Hi, it's Robert Mitchell and I'm here at the 2019 Toronto International Film Festival. I'm here for the world premiere of Richard Stanley's highly anticipated H.P. Lovecraft adaptation, Color Out of Space. It's really very exciting to see it for the first time with an audience in this setting. So, you know, whether people are laughing or you know, it's not a horror film like, oh, it's not that kind of thing. It's super weird and uh, unexpected. And I think the way Richard shoots, it's going to be, it's going to be very different from anything we've seen. Um, I'm playing someone who comes in uh, to investigate strange happenings on the farm where the family live. Um, called Ward, Ward Phillips. Uh, and he witnesses a lot of the strange things that other people don't in, in the short story that this is based on he basically is the narrator he tells the story from that perspective of how everyone sees the story um yeah it was a lot of fun to do and it was a lot of fun it was a character the rich uh our director was very excited about creating something because every other character is already in the stories we had an opportunity to bring everyone else in with the eyes that we wanted them to have um yeah it was really fun it was a good experience oh who are you playing in the uh picture so I play Lavinia Gardner, and she is the only daughter of Nathan and Teresa Gardner, played by Nick Cage and Jolie Richardson. And she's very into witchcraft and kind of use that, uses that as a vessel for her sanity, and we kind of see how each of the family members deal differently with the color um, affecting them. So I play uh, Benny, who's um, one of the kids of the family. Um, he's the, the middle child. And so, uh, yeah, it was a really, really interesting process, kind of getting into the the characters of the family and establishing all the dynamics and and then of course some pretty wild stuff happens to the family so every character undergoes a pretty interesting transformation just simply because of so much wild things that happens uh, because of the color <laughs> so that must have been an amazing experience to work with Nicolas Cage and Richard and everybody oh everyone it was so phenomenal they're all so lovely and they're so passionate about filmmaking and we also we filmed it um, in Portugal there's the man of the hour um, <laughs> And uh, so all of that together, we were all in the small town collaborating on something that we all are really fond of. So it made it, for lack of a better word, a magical experience as a whole. What was it like to work with Richard Stanley as a director? It was amazing. I love him. He's such a gentle soul and so fierce in his passion for what he creates. And, you know, I think it's a joy whenever you get to work with someone like that who really loves what they do and is just so excited to be there. I mean, Brendan's saying the same things right next to me right now. Genuinely, he's just, he's a wonder and a treasure. And I'm really excited for him tonight. I think it's very special that he's here and that, you know, we're here at here for the movie. Yeah. Nick Richard, our director, had warned me beforehand that that um, Nick, it, he said he likes to improvise. So, uh, um, so I knew that I was in for a different kind of experience. But I quite like it when people improvise because it doesn't bother me. I'm, I, I love seeing what people, and also Julian, who plays our youngest son in it, he, he caught the Nick vibe and started to improvise. So the whole experience became very experimental. But uh, uh, Richard and Nick are a great team, and, and I was just happy to be part of it. We're a good family. That's great. And so that means Nick Cage is your father in the picture. What was that to work with alongside him? I'm sure that must have been pretty amazing. Yeah, it was amazing to work with Nick. I mean, I, I've been a big fan of his for a long time before. I, I've seen so many of his films, and uh, he was just a really, really nice guy. Uh, he's a huge film fan, which is really cool, so to hear him talk about movies was really great, and, and just to work with him was, was a blast. Do you feel like you're a better actor uh, outside of this movie? Absolutely. I think I think not just Nick, but the whole ensemble uh, was made up of just amazing actors, and so pretty much any scene you got to share with any of them, I felt like you you, you know you learn so much, and you just you get to pick up on little things that people are doing, and yeah, I mean that's how you get better at anything, right? Doing it with people who are great at it. So yeah. What kind of research did you do? Um, well, I. I did, so I had this book um, that Nick actually lent me um, by Gardner, who is one of like, the founding members of like Wiccan, the Wiccan religion. So I read parts of that, and Richard actually wrote us this incredible like three-page like backstory on our characters. And it was so instrumental in helping understand 
where our characters were coming from and it was so beautifully written I never had a director do that before and I don't think I can't speak for anyone else but it was definitely a first for me and it was so we felt so lucky to have him write that for us thank you thank you if you get Nick and Richard Stanley it becomes an event I mean I was doing interviews with them today and I was just like Oh my god, I could just sit here and listen to them the whole time. They're a great artist and, and really interesting men.